kaisho katoa, no inga rangi o kuti kuna, i tipu aki o i te rohe o kirikiri roa. No reira, ka mehi ahu ki i nga maunga o te rohe o kirikiri roa, ka mehi atu ahau ki te awa o Waikato. Ko Pauline Woodhall Raul, ko Jim Chidlow o Kumatua, ko Rachel Chidlow toku ingoa. No reira, tēnā koutou, tēnā koutou, tēnā tātou katoa. Hi everyone, I'm Rachel Chidlow and I manage the Research Services team in Te Tumuhiranga Libraries and Learning Services at Waipapa Taumata Rau, the University of Auckland. I've just introduced myself using pepeha, which is a way of introducing yourself in Māori. A pepeha tells people who you are by sharing your connections with the people and the places that are important to you. Te Wakahui o Rangahau is the Te Reo Māori name for research outputs the research management system used by Waipapa Taumatero. What's in a name? What does this name mean? A straightforward explanation of Te Wakahui a Rangahau can be understood as being a treasure box, a wakahuia, like the one pictured here, used for research. Waka are commonly known as transportation vessels. Huia are highly prized birds to Māori. They symbolise leadership, mana and prestige. Huia feathers as adornment are reserved for only the most prestigious. Rangaho is a direct translation of research. Te Wakahui a Rangaho is a name that honours the university's commitment to Te Tiriti o Waitangi and Tangata Whenua, people of the land. An essential part of the university's distinctiveness and a key component of the university's new Vision 2030 and Strategic Plan 2025 called Taumata Teite. There was no formal process in place for requesting a te reo name. Hine and I developed the process as we went along using tikanga, which is a system of traditional Māori values and practice to guide us. Consultation, partnership and discussion are key components of tikanga and signal legitimate engagement with tangata whenua, so this is where we started. Consultation and discussion empowers collaborative effort and contribution, which means the process becomes genuine and authentic. We consulted with a number of groups, including Te Pō Rāhui, who we spoke with first. Te Pō Rāhui are a group of Te Pumahiringa staff who identify as Māori. Their purpose is to nurture and empower Māori students and staff in a whānau, family environment, which is friendly to Māori cultural and personal values. Te Pō Rāhui suggested a first version of a name for research outputs, Te Waka Arangaho or Waipapa Taumatarau. The next part of our consultation was with our Kai Arataki, Deputy Pro Vice Chancellor Māori, Michael Steedman, who was also a member of Te Mā Tangareo, the Māori Language Advisory Group that advise on the appropriate use of Te Reo Māori within the university to ensure consistency. After careful consideration and much discussion, Michael refined the name. We provided a narrative to justify this name and Te Wakahui a Rangahau was gifted as the Te Reo Māori name for research outputs. 2022 will see considerable change to research outputs with the significant upgrade and implementation of the discovery and research funding solution modules. The timing is right for a new name, a name that better reflects what research outputs does and can be used for. Te Wakahui a Rangahau embodies an holistic approach and embraces the entire research life cycle. Te Wakahui a Rangahau as a name is enduring and will outlast any specific system that is implemented to manage research at Waipapa Taumata Rau. Te Wakahui a Rangahau is protected in its own right. It is a taonga, a treasure. If research outputs were to be decommissioned, the Te Reo Māori name would not be and could be gifted to any other system that serves the same purpose. The indigenous approach we used ensured that we adhered to cultural protocol and resulted in a name being gifted that we are now proudly using. Kia ora, Hine and I are happy to be contacted if you have any questions. Nā mihi nui. Thank you. Thanks, Rachel and Hine. Um, if you've got any questions, you can post them in the um, padlet that we have, Go. same one that was used. Yama, to before I begin this. introducing myself. Oh, something else is playing there, or we can have a look in the chat. 
Let's stop any questions there. Um, has anybody got any questions in the chat? <laughs> um, these lightning talks are all going to be are all recorded and they're all going to be going onto our YouTube channel as well. So you can always go back and have a look and have a think in Rachel's um, and he knows contact details are there as well. If you've got any other queries about that, if there's nothing else to come, I'll just refresh the Padlet. We could probably move on to the next lightning talk, Matthias. Oh, no, sorry. <laughs> I'll start. Rachel, I do have a question for you and Hine, if you'd like to unmute yourself. Um, this is from how important learning the Indigenous language, at, how important is learning the Indigenous language at your institution is, and is there any challenges in onboarding new members? It's a big that's question. That's a great question. <laughs> yeah. Hi, Fiona. Fiona. Hi. Um, I think it's very important. Okay. It's, it's an easy answer, isn't it? I'm sure you can think of something better to say than me, honey. I'm thinking up an answer. <laughs> yes. No, it's very important to the university and it's evident in the Māori language revitalisation plan that the PVC Māori office um, worked on, uh, was it 2020? And that, that was the grounding and the basis from which the whole renaming project um, was taken from. It aligns with strategic direction. And uh, I guess that's how important it is. I yeah, Hannah, that was the bit I cut out of the presentation to make it fit into five minutes. <laughs> you think I'd have remembered, oh my goodness. Yeah, um, challenging, is it challenging? Well, the university has some opportunities for all staff members to sign up on pronunciation courses and to participate in a wide range of activities around the university. And if anything, I think it's um, it demonstrates the commitment to the language, to the Indigenous language of Aotearoa and um, the PVC officers prioritising this mahi as being important. So everybody knows that it is important to us and there are going to be challenges along the way, but I think that there are a lot of um, initiatives put in place to just help make that journey a little bit easier for the wider um, university staff at Waipapa Tau Matarau. Oh. That was awesome. I think I just add one little bit to that as well that I was thinking, and it's a lot of it is about opportunities to practice and not feel like an idiot if you get it wrong. And Titumahiringa, which is Libraries and Learning Services, where myself, Fiona and Hinea all work together, is a great environment where we are really encouraged to practice. And it doesn't matter if you don't get it right. It's the intent and the willingness to give it a go that makes it a comfortable space to, you know, try. Yeah. Can I just mention one more thing? I don't know how much time we have. Is that okay, Fiona? Yep, yep. Um, the other thing is, it's not just about learning the Indigenous language, but it's understanding the whole worldview that comes with that. And this is also, these are also opportunities that are offered within Te Tumuhiringa, like Rachel had said, um, through a wide range of development opportunities and now um, um, staff development plans, actually. So when I say that, a whole world view, it means looking at our place and where we're standing, our environments and acknowledging and respecting the Indigenous people that come from this land and how do we, and not how do we, but incorporating these things into um, wider strategic development plans of the university. And in this case, the renaming of a huge system, the research output system, the University of Auckland. Thanks, Hine. Thanks, Rachel. It's great. <laughs>